What is up guys? Welcome to my new tutorial series and in this tutorial series we will learn how to create a billing software or a store management, store management software. So not only that we are going to learn quite a lot. We are going to learn how to compile the .py to .exe, how to bind keyboard buttons to certain functions. Let me show you this compiled version, these are .exe, it will run on any computer, I mean with Windows operating system of course. So the main function of this program is to manage a small store, like uh, you have a small store and you want a billing software or handle stocks, then I think this is a good software. So a customer comes in and buys something and uh, it, the product has a code. We will enter the code and it will display the product's name KitKat. I didn't have to click the search button, I just pressed enter. So these are some basic things that you can learn from this. So you'll enter the quantity, let's say I want to buy 2, and as you can see it says KitKat 260, and it will focus again back to this. And we will say the customer bought another product, and it, are, it is batteries. So he bought 3 batteries at the card, as you can see batteries 330. 60 plus 30 is 90 and total is updating saying 90. Let's say the customer bought another product as well, some sandals, one at a cart, 690. So the customer gave us 1000 rupees to change, we'll calculate changes 310, we'll give him 310, then we'll generate bill. What generate bill will do is actually it will print the bill physically. So I will show you a video of my tutorial where I did this and you can learn this in the in this whole tutorial series so it will print the bill let's see yes it is printing so as you can see here is the bill so besides this store managing I mean uh, point of selling software I have this add to database uh, which will help to add the products to the database it's pretty simple. Since it is compiled, it will take quite a time and it is loaded. So we'll add some papers. Paper, let's say we have uh, 50 papers in stock, cost price is 10 rupees. We're selling it in 15, bought it from the bank, vendor and phone number is 9998. Enter ID. So, oh my god, what was the previous ID? Don't worry, it's here, it's 5. So we'll say 6, add to database. Okay, insert a paper into the database with code. Clear all fields, add other products. Seven, add to database. Clear all fields. So that's how you add to the database. If you want to update the database, simply press update the database. I mean update.exe. So it will take a time to load. Updating means like uh, if you get the new products, like for example the stock for a certain product is finished and you want to add those products, then you can do it from update. For example, let's say one and simply press search. It will say KitKat 17, it will get all the details. Then we can simply make some corrections or add products. It was 18 or whatever it is. Sorry, 1820, 360, 1840, whatever it is. And we'll just press update database. It says update database successful. So, so you will update the database. And these updated files, like the sixth one we added was a paper, it can be found in this billing system. And it will decrease the stock, it will handle everything. Printing the bill. Yes. Uh, it was number six. It is paper. Price is 15. I'll buy one. And it is updated here. So for the bill, if you want to see where are the bills stored, it is an invoice. And it is classified under date. And as you can see, the bill is generated saying KitKat battery sandals. These are the things we bought. And this bill will be printed. And I will teach you how you can make this bill as well. So stay tuned for my next video. Until then, subscribe to my channel.